an evasion. It, if it's in red, that means it's, it's going to be lower. But if it's uh, green, it's going to be even or higher. Or at least higher or something. Yeah, I think it's going to be higher because resilience on these is 13, resilience on these is 14, and stuff like that. So, I mean, not... You know, you're not going to get as detailed information as you get in World of Warcraft, for example, but... You know, it's, it's probably good enough um, for now. They will probably, hopefully, work on this and expand it over time. Uh, you also have... You know, when you select an item, it shows you a kind of a tooltip for it on the right. And it's, it's where it says favors. If you guys look on the, where it says base, finish, and favors. Where it says favors, this is like the class that you should you should have to use this. You can you can obviously wear it even if it doesn't favor you. But there's probably going to be some sort of penalty or something. I don't know. I have MP. But yeah, so these are items. So these are going to be um, kind of uh, I don't know. I guess good for you uh, to look over a standing period of time. Uh, next menu, actions and traits. So if you look at actions and traits, this is actually where you build your actions. So when you start level 1, the only action you have as a Lancer is Light Thrust. And Light Thrust, uh, it's just like a, basically like an auto attack. Uh, except there's no auto attack in this game, so you actually have to spam Light Thrust if you want to kill something. So I'll show you guys that later in, when I'm in combat. But Light Thrust, uh, it's basically... It's just uh, you just stab something with your spear, and then skewer um, is just an ability that you learn. I think at level three, two or three or something, and that's like your first TP ability. So when you build TP, um, you can use it to use, or you can use skewer to burn that TP. Um, I'll show you guys that again in combat when, when we play. But anyway, so this menu you use to equip your abilities. So when you learn your abilities, they automatically appear in your bar. You actually have to add them, and then where you can see where it says battle actions, you have 15 points worth of abilities that you can add. So let's say uh, that I want to add an ability. I select this, then I go up here, I select uh, which class I want to pick it from. So if I'm a Lancer, I'm using a Polearm, then I'll choose, choose Polearm. If I'm a, a Pugilist, I'll choose Hand to Hand. And you can mix and match different abilities from different classes. Because you you basically play all the classes on the same character, so you can, for instance, uh, let's let's put this in WoW terms. You can have uh, a warrior's whirlwind, and a retribution, paladin's crusader strike, and a rogue's evisceration, and you can put all those in one character uh, and use them. Uh, they're gonna be like reduced effectiveness if you're let's say if you're a lancer and you're using a pugilist ability, it's gonna be reduced in effectiveness. But you can still you can still use it. So I mean, you can mix and match, um, especially for like healers and casters. It's gonna they're gonna have different abilities that they can use, which I think is it's pretty uh, it's pretty sweet uh, to have that you can use different different jobs abilities. So I'll just, I'll choose polearm, and then it's gonna list a whole bunch of abilities that I have for the polearm. So and then it, it shows action cost. So this action cost is actually what it costs you to have. Uh, those abilities equipped and since I have 15 points I can use 15 points worth of abilities so right now. I only have Like 12 points worth of abilities. I don't know if this changes later on. I'm only rank 9 So I don't know if later on maybe like your battle actions will cap out at something and you're only gonna be able to use a f uh, Some for some mob and then have to change them for another uh, This is kind of a, a chore right now to change all this you can use a macro but then again, you have to like delve into how to make macros and stuff like that. So this is really kind of not really user friendly. This isn't something like really. I'm referring to WoW again because it's it's pretty much like the you know the base that you compare other MMOs to these days. But it's this is just not user friendly. I don't know. Like I I find this to be a chore. And you know I played Final Fantasy XI for two years and I love that game, but. This is like a step back <laughs> from Final Fantasy XI, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, and then you have traits. Uh, traits, I don't actually have any, so I can't really say, you know, what I'm going to be using these traits for, what they're going to be. 
And then ability, which I don't know what those are either. So, yeah, it doesn't really explain anything. Uh, there are no tutorials or anything, which kind of sucks. Um, point allotment, which is the other menu. This is when you level up. So when you level up, you get a, a certain amount of points. I think it varies with level, because sometimes I get like six points, sometimes I get eight, sometimes I get four. I don't know exactly how this works. Like, like um... You know, maybe maybe every two levels you get eight points. Maybe every level you get four points. I don't know. Um, but once you get points, you can distribute them here. Strength, vitality, dexterity. So you can actually craft your character the way you want. Uh, and of course, you can reassign. And there's a cooldown on reassign. It's kind of like a respec. You can you drop all the points and then you just reassign them again. So let's say that you want to stop being a lancer and you uh, you want to start being a, a I don't know a conjurer or something. You can reassign all your points and drop them in intelligence or mind or something. So that's that's pretty cool um, that they gave you this option. If they didn't, that would be pretty awful. And then you have uh, elements, which um, I'm assuming are resistances to various abilities. And it it seems like every ability has um, an element. So like, if you get drop kicked, that's probably like earth element. Or something. If you get, I don't know, sprayed with poison, that's probably water element. I am not, you know, I don't know this for a fact, but this is kind of like what it was in Final Fantasy XI. So I'm assuming they probably <laughs> ripped it off from that game. But uh, you know, I'm not gonna say this is how it works because I don't know. But you can you can raise your resistance here, as, as you can see. Since I'm in Gridania, there's a bunch of poison, and there are some abilities that do that feel like they do earth damage. So I pump those to 40, and I have eight points left. So, I'm going to uh, go ahead and drop two more in here. And when you notice, what you notice here is that it takes two points to add one point of resistance. Uh, this appears to only happen after you have 40 and something. So, this is, I guess, kind of to make sure that you don't max it out too quickly so that you're not immune to one type of mob or something. So, after I'm done with this, I go apply. And now when I go here, again, Oh, when I go here again, I have... Oh, yeah, this just takes a while to update. Well, So, yeah, there you go. So, I have 42 resistance to water and earth. Inventory. This is so bad. This this whole thing is just so terrible. Like, it puts all these items in your inventory. And you can't sort them or anything. They're just, like, in your inventory. Um, I don't know if this is going to fix this in retail. I surely hope they do. But, yeah, this is pretty shitty. So, um... I'm hoping that they'll fix it. Um, other thing you can do is you can select currency. Uh, it shows you how much money you have. Standard Eorzean currency. Uh, that's Gil, is my guess. Uh, and then under loot, uh, if I kill something and it drops something, it'll show right here. And if you're in a party, it'll create this huge pool of loot. And then that loot will randomly get distributed uh, among the people in your party. So that's where you can see what's in the loot pool. And then items, again, is back to your items. Under items, you can select crystals. These are the crystals that you have. Uh, crystals drop from mobs when you kill them, so they're going to show up here. Uh, oops, let's go ahead and go to key items. These are key items that you're going to get uh, during, the, during the game. Initially, you get like a, a key item that you later go and, and sell. And that's going to show up here. They're like quest items, basically, but they show up in key items. And and then over here, uh, these are going to be items that you're selling. So if you're selling any items, there's going to be like a little bag that's going to appear next to your name. Like where you see where it says Inks Ray on the screen in the middle. And on the left, there's an icon. That icon will be overwritten by the little bag. And the bag will basically signify that you are selling something. Uh, and people will be able to like browse your... Uh, inventory and stuff that you have for sale, they'll be able, they'll be able to buy it from you. So yeah, um, this is uh, this is the inventory. It's it's a step back from like every other MMO. Uh, it's even a step back from Final Fantasy XI, unfortunately. But, you know, whatever. Well, actually, I guess it's kind of a, it's not really a step back from XI, but it's still pretty poor. I mean, compared to WoW, EverQuest, compared to Aeon, uh, even, it's it's kind of bad. Anyway, 
Uh, then you have other options here. I'm not going to go into detail. Journal is like your quest log. So you select quest and you go current quests and then you can choose, you know, whichever quest you have here. Um, you can you can choose these levees. These are levees like you see here. This, these are the two I failed. Um, and I failed them because I crashed while doing them. And apparently if you disconnect or do anything outside of doing the quest while you do the quest, then you will fail it. So crashing, don't crash. And you never know when you'll crash. You might be just standing there and you'll crash. So that's beta for you. Hopefully, it's just beta for you. Um, so yeah, this is kind of a, you know, you can sort everything here uh, for your quests. And then party, it'll, if you were in a party, it'll show you like a party menu, party details. So obviously I'm not in a party. You can recruit a party or you can search for someone matching specific criteria. Um, social lists, this is uh, for your friends list and your blacklist. So on my friends list, I have Dracus and Disruptor. And uh, the, they're not online right now, it shows it would have a green dot next to them. But they're not online, so it shows a gray dot next to them. Link Shell. Uh, a Link Shell is like a guild. I'm in the guild Still Life. And if I go display members, it shows, I guess, who's online? I don't know what this is. Shows that I'm online, but these guys are grayed out, so I don't know. Uh, link shells is a links link of, uh, sorry, a list of link shells that you have. You can only be in one link shell at a time, but you can have multiple link shells to choose from. So if I choose still life, I can go ahead and, and join this link shell. And then if I go remove, it'll remove me from this link shell. But then I can join another link shell. And shells are just, uh, they're like, they used to be items in your inventory, but they are no longer items in your inventory. They're just there in the, in the link shell menu. So. And you can talk to members. What that does is just opens like a link shell chat prompt and you can talk to them. You can also do that in the regular chat prompt. So, And retire, I don't know what that does. I don't want to select it because it might screw something up. So, Retainer list. A retainer is, is actually a pretty cool feature. Um, a retainer is kind of like your personal like store whore. You can put items in the retainer. And then uh, the retainer will like sell your items in this like instanced area, so people can go into this area and then browse browse other people's uh, items, like bazaar's items or whatever. So a retainer is basically like an NPC that you can put items on that, and he's gonna sell them for you to other people. Map shows you the map. NPC link pearls. Uh, NPC link pearls is basically well, it's basically NPC link pearls. Um, you can get link pearls from NPCs. You get one initially uh, from a person that you st in the city that you start with, and she gives you directions for your quests. Uh, I don't know what this is going to do later on. I think this is kind of a ridiculous feature. You can just talk to the NPCs if you need to, or something. Uh, but it's there. So NPC link pearls. Uh, teleport. I already showed you guys that you can teleport places. Return is like your hearth, basically, and from WoW, it returns you to the last stone that you were bound to. So in my case, I am bound to Emerald.